So I use a lot of real world material, um, articles that are out there. Um, we, we spend the first couple of weeks really understanding how to look at an article, um, who writes it, what is it written for, um, what perspective. And so I pull in a bunch of articles from real world stuff that's going on, anything that natural disasters to findings to, um, yes, the last week we read an article about using an MRI machine to look at lost cities that are underneath the oceans. Um, and the kids are like, that's doable? Yeah, that's doable. And so they, those kind of interesting pieces, I try to do a variety so that I hit everybody's, like at some point in time, you're going to look at something and go, what? What'd she just say? So two years ago, we had um, teaching with a scientist come in and they came into our classroom and we were paired up with, with scientists who were doing research on, one was a penguin, one was the dolphins, some had um, polar bears, and we listened to their perspective on the change in the habitat and the change in the um, amount of those specific organisms, animals, over time. We talked about how does throwing a water bottle out the window on I-75 in Florence, Kentucky, affect the entire world. And so they had to map out what is that journey of the bottle to the ocean and why is there such a problem in the ocean. So the content is taught through real world connections, what's going on in the world, and that leads them to question. Mm -hmm.